So I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking how I learned to script in Roblox Studio. I've always had an interest in coding and programming as a whole. I found as a interest of mine since a very young age and personally I just enjoy learning code and using it to make my own types of games, websites, whatever it is and I really like the creative aspect of it. And so that passion really fueled a fire in me to learn more and to want to learn more and ultimately that's where it strives from it's the amount of effort that you put into learning how to code that will ultimately yield the best results but i want to show you guys the methods that i use to learn how to code and so that way you can use those methods to learn how to code yourself the first method i used was looking inside the toolbox inside of roblox studio the toolbox has a lot of free models that a lot of other people have made and scripted and it's a really great learning resource because of all the different things inside of there. Let's say I wanted to make like a spleef system where if a player will touch a part then that part will turn invisible or something the player can fall through it. It's overall probably going to be a pretty simple script but if you don't know where to start Looking at what other people have done is a great thing to do. But don't just look at what they do and then straight up copy them. You want to figure out what they did, how it works, and why it works. And that will definitely rewire the way you think. And so instead of going from, I'm going to copy this, you're now going, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to make something either better or just as good from what I've learned from it. And so overall, that is the good way to go about using it. The second method I used was using Roblox's tutorials that they have on their little creator website. They're definitely great learning resources as well. They've got plenty of different tutorials and just different little things that lets you know how certain scripting objects work. They've got all the variables, functions. They've got a little tutorial basically that explains how every little inch of scripting works, whether that be functions, variables, remote events, all these different things. And it's such a great thing to use and I think overall it's an amazing learning resource. The third method that I used to learn scripting was using the dev forum. The dev forum is all one of those amazing resources once again as there are all these professional developers on there. They're not just scripters, they're also builders, modelers, UI designers, any other job inside of Roblox Studio. There's a pretty much a professional developer out there for. And so what I would do was look up certain things I'd want to figure out, like how run service worked or how tween service worked or something like that. And there are all these full length tutorials that people will actually create. And it's overall amazing because they give you very detailed descriptions of things. They give you very clear instructions on how to incorporate it into certain things. And overall, it is an amazing learning resource. So far, we've covered the toolbox roblox's creator tutorials and the dev forum the fourth method that i want to mention are youtube tutorials there are a lot of mixed opinions on these some people say youtube tutorials are completely useless and that you should not follow them whatsoever other people say youtube tutorials are a must i personally think that they're kind of in between YouTube tutorials are really useful for when you're not sure how to achieve a certain thing and you want to learn from it, but you don't really need them as there are all the other learning resources out there. I think it's just another useful tool. Once again, with that toolbox analogy, make sure that you're learning from the tutorials and you're learning how things work and why they work rather than just copying off the tutorial. That way you'll really test your mind and you'll yield results faster because you're actually trying to learn. And now the fifth and final method that I have for you guys is ultimately the best one that you will ever need and ever use and that is simply practice. Rome wasn't built in a day and unfortunately you can't learn scripting in a day. You can learn a lot of scripting in a day but most of that you're probably going to forget unless you put it into practice. There are multiple different ways to practice, whether you try and memorize how to create certain scripts, such as a kill part for instance, that's a good one to learn how to do first off. You can just memorize what different parts of code do, like the print statement, functions, variables, stuff like that. You can even just try and make your own very simple game first off, and that will help you to learn scripting. And eventually you kind of wean yourself off of the tutorials more and you start building things on your own. 
Now, there's nothing wrong with using tutorials. Ultimately, they're amazing, and I'll admit that even I use them sometimes for new things that are coming out, or even just something that I myself am clueless about. And there's no shame in using tutorials, but once again, simply just make sure that you're learning from them and not just using them. That's the basics of how I learned Roblox Studio and how you can learn Roblox Studio. If you'd like me to, I can make a scripting tutorial series. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.